Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Phantom. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and why not leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description below, you will find a link to Discord. Come check it out, it is free to join. Once you're in the general chat area, just add mention a member of staff, we'll be happy to help you out with anything you may need. So this was quite a good one yesterday. We managed to ride this wave to the downside within the Discord. We have a, had a trade come out um, and basically had made a nice little 25 percenter, um, only on low leverage. Uh, but yeah, it was, was a good little trade. So yeah, we managed to ride that little bad boy down. Um, but yeah, effectively, I'm still looking for the possibility of potentially having this fifth wave to the upside. We're right in this zone now of this um, fourth wave retracement. So we've actually got a little bit more to come down to this 382, which is actually at this 40 and uh, 40 cent 59. Basically, we could potentially look to move down there. Alternatively, this 50% is at this 3506. So within the structure, the current the current structure is indicating a five wave move, and we're going to go into this in, in in a minute. And what I'm looking out for is the possibility we could get this B wave to play out to the upside here before looking for continuation in the C wave. So this is something I'm just keeping an eye out on. There is also potential that we could look to extend down here, but if we do start to reverse from here, we need to just be careful that we don't that we haven't um, formed a a completed corrective structure here and actually we're looking to push up one more time for this fifth wave so we need to keep an eye on this if we do start to develop five wave structure to the upside something like this where we actually come break this high point this could potentially be a target area we're looking for this 94.53 to the 75.10 so this um this area basically uh i think it's changed well i think i've worked it off of lower down so yeah i mean i've worked that off of down here on this 50 percent so off of our current position it would actually be this 87.59 to this 73.02 so if we do actually push up directly from where we are then potentially this would be our zone we'd be looking for alternatively if we do push down a little bit lower here still and potentially look to target out some of these lower ranges here this low point here this 36 cent is yeah, 36 cent area would be quite an interesting zone as well, in my opinion. Um, 36, yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll have to see how it plays out. But effectively, if we do look to push up to the upside, we could start to look for an impulsive wave. However, I don't think that that is um happening quite yet. I think uh I think we do need to potentially become a bit bigger here um within this structure, either forming this B wave and coming down for a C or moving a bit more sideways here before having another drop to the downside so let's go over um, the internal count that we're currently tracking so within this structure we also need to just be careful because like i said previously we haven't got confirmation of this fourth wave and we actually came up into this um, zone of this flat rejection so we do have the possibility of if i actually come back i'll show to the daily um the possibility of breaking down one more time for a um for a fifth wave so this would be the target zone for that. So we need to just be careful that, um, because we are starting in what looks five wave structure. So, you know, if we form this as a one, two, potentially we could then look to form a three, four and a five to the downside, which could actually take us to a new low point and effectively look to bring us down into this target box. So this could be something we need to just keep an eye out on. Um, for as long as we hold these low points here of this 1892 and this zone here of the 1646, you know, we can also look for those bullish potentials, either looking at this as a one, two, three, four, five, or alternatively, if we fail to develop this fourth and fifth, whether we actually manage to find support here in this three, two, eight, one, two, this twenty, two, eleven. If we do manage to find support, we can argue that we have a pot potential additional one and two, and then we could actually look for that much bigger move to the upside. Though we'd have to be careful because at the moment all we have is a three wave structure, and three wave structures are corrective structures, which means that they will often continue with the trend afterwards. So basically we need to just be careful with this because at the moment we don't have um, a completed fourth and fifth wave. If we do, then we can, with a bit more certainty, look for that um, support. But even with this five wave structure, we'd have to be careful we don't have this as a flat. Um, and we, even if we do push up higher one more time, this would still um, 
hold true to the possibility of having a flat correction here. The bullish alternative would be that we'd look for this as an A, we'd come back for a B or a 1, 2, and then we'd look for that C or 3 wave to the upside. So this is what we're currently looking for on the bigger picture. We're going to get into some more of the micro counting now. So within the, the smaller counts here, um, basically what we were looking at was this yesterday. I'm actually going to turn this off for a second. So what we're looking for is the potential that all of this was a one, two, and that we're effectively looking for this third wave, potentially to push down a bit deeper, actually. Um, but we were arguing that we could have had an extension here, which would have actually made these wave one and three similar in length. So this is still viable that we can we can argue that. Um, let me remove that ABC for a second. But we were talking about this. So we we're talking about the possibility this uh, fourth was completed up here and that we we're looking for this to potentially come down as a fifth wave for this target range here of this 40 cent 39 to this 38 26. So we didn't manage to quite get you. So we got a couple of options. We can either can either look at this as a fourth wave um, that's potentially not completed then. And what we would be looking for is the possibility that we could have a ABC, uh, a flat correction here to the upside that potentially is still in in the uh, process of forming. So if it becomes an expanding flat, the actual target area would be this zone here, this 32, uh, sorry, 5371 to this 5042. If we do actually push up higher here, then potentially we could look for this. But what we want to see at the moment, there isn't great structure for it. But if we did have to pull back down for wave two, we could potentially look for something like this to play out as a five wave pattern to the upside looking to target out this range. So what I'd be looking for with that, I'm actually going to just um, turn this on. So what you'd be looking for is potentially looking at this as support here. And we'd have to argue that um, either we're getting a diagonal here where this becomes a one, two, three, four and a five, an expanding diagonal. Let me just go into the 30 minute time frame here. Yeah, so I mean, we'd have to argue it would be something like this, where this is a one, two, this would be a three, four, and then a five. So if this is the case, however, though, uh, wave, wave five would have to be longer than wave three. So it would actually have to be higher, we'd have to go higher than this 46, 43. And what we'd want to see within this, we'd want to see this play out as a um basically as a three wave structure so we'd want to see a a a b and a c to the upside something like this um and it would be want to be a zigzag at that so this is something that could play out if we do have something like this play out where we get this continuation up here in a three wave move we could then potentially look for um support to come back in towards this 4329 to this 4204 depending on how high exactly this moves um, it would change the support box slightly. This is off of the current area. So actually, um, it would be a bit higher. This 4370 um, to this sort of 4219. So that would be a zone that would be quite interesting. Uh, this 61865 area could also be particularly interesting, depending on where exactly it ends up coming in. Um, like I said, this C wave, if we do get a three wave move here, you know, that this could go just slightly past one to one, or it could end up going quite a bit past it. So we just need to keep an eye on that. It is also possible there could be some extension going on within these waves, where we could argue that this is a one, two, this is a one, two. Did we come down lower here? We did come down lower, so we can't look at it like that. So um, yeah, effectively the only other way would be to argue that uh, that it's completed already and we've got smaller structure here um where this would be a one two three four five and then this would be a two and we'd be looking for that um bigger move to the upside though really confirmation would only come by pushing up much higher and i don't really like the structure uh confirmation would come by crossing this zero five one one four if we move up past that 05114 then effectively we could argue we have a bigger five wave move here where this becomes a one two and then we'd be looking for that progression for the C wave to the upside. So that, that's something we need to keep an eye on. That is only valid for as long as we hold this 4110. We lose this zone. Effectively, that would invalidate that. And what we'd be potentially looking for then is that um, possibly we are looking at this um, count slightly wrong. And there's 
a wave, I'm going to go over this quickly. So this fourth wave, initially I was looking at it as over here, um, which is possible. And it could be that this is a fourth wave over here. And effectively, uh, we are looking to expand, or actually, the, we, if it's over here, we'd have to potentially argue that we're expanding out here, like I said, um, where this is a fourth as an ABC. To only because of this internal structure here. So the, re the reason I'm saying this, so we could potentially also count this as an A, B, C, D, and an E here into this point as a fourth wave. So if this is the case, then actually what happens is we've, we've, we could potentially have completed this fifth, where we've had a triangle in a fourth wave, and this is the fifth wave. So this is something that is possible that we could have completed here, and it could be a truncated move, but we don't have enough information to say that. We have to cross this high point again to sort of confirm the possibility of that, and then we'd want to see um, this move sort of progress much higher than this fourth wave range, and we'd want to see bigger structure develop. Um, but effectively, if we are looking for continuation to the downside, what we'd be looking for then is the possibility that we have um, a move down still to come here. And basically what I'm looking at within this is if we are taking this as a triangle, we could then argue that potentially we aren't completed this fifth wave move. So we'd be looking at this potentially as a one, two. Um, we've come right up into this zone here. So just having a look at it, we've actually come up right into this uh, golden pocket range, this six, five, six, one, eight. If we do start to reject to the downside here, it is possible that we could look for this um, for this extension, but it would only get really a confirmation by breaking down past this 3529 um, to this and then we'd look for this fourth wave, potentially up towards this 38.85, and then finally looking to settle down here in this 34.49 to this 33.20. This is obviously provided we don't get any internal extensions within the waves. If we do get further extension, this could push these target ranges lower. Um, like I said, invalidation comes by crossing above this 48.15. If we do cross above that, then we'd have to potentially look at that fifth wave completing into here, or look out for that um look out for that flat correction possibility where we are looking for um this zone here as an expanding flat if we do get this as a um as a uh what's the word a diagonal ending di sorry <laughs> yeah an ending diagonal as a five wave structure where we're looking for this basically as a three wave move into this zone past this wave three high um, well, past this wave three, one to one, we can then argue that uh, this could actually be the completion of this move, where this becomes an A, a B, and a C. So we need to give it, be a little bit cautious in this area. Um, if we do move up past this zone in a three wave move, it is possible that we could still look for a five wave structure to develop to the downside, where this becomes an A, a B, and a a running a running flat, and then effectively we look to break down. So. This is very, um, it's very tricky, this sort of shape we have here. We can count it in multiple ways, but the idea is if we fail to break back above these high points here of this, uh, this 40, 4820, and finally this one here, this uh, 4915, 4920 or so, um, then we could still look for that progression to the downside. If we do break up, be cautious around this 5371, case we get a five wave move up here and we still break down however if we do progress higher what my target zone would be would be this um this potential red box area if we are looking for rejection though if we do move above this 60 uh 60 cent 70 it would be less likely that we are actually um that we're going to look for the c wave and then we'd have to argue that potentially we completed here um, with some other kind of structure, uh, but I can't really count it correctly. You'd have to argue that potentially you'd have to count it something like this as a W, X, Y, X, and then you'd have to treat this as a, just as a zigzag here um, for a Y wave. And then obviously this would then potentially be looking for that fourth wave, so that fifth wave, uh, potentially up to this zone here, this 94.53 to the 75. 10 depending on obviously like i said where where exactly we um where exactly we play out so uh forget the numbers that we said exactly 
but effectively it was somewhere here in the range of this 8738 to the 7316. That was the target zone if we do start to push up Griffith directly from this point. Um, yeah, so I mean, th that's it. We need to see how these waves start to unfold. If we don't show the strength to actually take this out, this high point, and then actually break through this zone here, like I said, it was 5371. Um, what we'd want to do is effectively pass this 5237 so that we can say that we're not getting further extension here within within the fifth wave. However, really, until we actually take these highs of the 6035 and then finally this 6552, we need to be careful. We could still look to actually extend down where we could potentially get the scenario where this becomes a one, we break up for a two, and then we break down for a deeper third. So we get a one, two, one, two, and then look to push down. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's not that clear at the moment, but we will try to keep you up to date with the moves as we see them. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description below, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join, like I said earlier. Um, you know, we're gonna, we've, got this, uh, we've got the trader tier kicking off properly from this week. So we're going to have a lot more stuff coming in. Um, yeah, so why not come and check it out? It's going to be, it's going to be big. Um, in the description, you'll also find uh, links to Bybit and to um, PrimeXBT, both great exchanges. Using the affiliate links does help support the channel. And as well as that, you do get uh, some deposit bonuses if you meet the criteria. Those can be found by looking through the links below, and you will find it on the website there. Um, check it out. If you don't have an account already, it does help support us, like I said. And as well, you do get some deposit bonuses if you meet the criteria. So have a look. Everyone, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you have a great day. See you next.